In 16th century, the mathematician Robert Record wrote a book called Whetstone of Wit to teach English students algebra. But he was getting tired of writing the words is equal to over and over. He replaced those words with two horizontal line segments because the way he saw it, no two things can be more equal. Could he have used four line segments instead of two? Of course. Could he have used vertical line segments? In fact, some people did. There's no reason why the equal sign had to look the way it does today. At some point, it just caught on, sort of like a meme. More and more mathematicians began to use it, and eventually it became a standard symbol for equality. Sometimes, as Record himself noted about his equal signs, there's an apt conformity between the symbol and what it represents. Another example for that is the plus sign, for addition, which originated from a condensing of the Latin word et, meaning and. Sometimes, however, the choice of symbol is more arbitrary. Such as when a mathematician named Christian Kramp introduced the exclamation mark for factorials just because he needed a shorthand for expressions like this. If we didn't have these symbols, we'd have had spent a bunch of days just to take a number, multiply it by 2, subtract 1 from the result, multiply the result with that by itself, divide the result of it by 3 and then add 1 to get the final output. But now we have a compact, elegant expression. If you enjoyed this lesson, we think you'd enjoy our other lessons too.